The marathon is long. That's the first lesson I've learned. The marathon requires patience. The marathon requires respect. And the marathon will always require you to keep a cool, calm head. You have to temper your ambitions, temper your excitement, temper everything, because if you come in swinging heavy, it's like a 10 round fight, and you're gonna, you're gonna wear, yourself, wear yourself down way too fast, and uh, you're gonna get knocked out. You know, when it comes to deciding when to, when to run your first marathon, some of it is, is a little bit of guidance on my part, but, but some of it is the athlete coming to me and saying that they're ready and they'd like to try it. I'm not a dictator. You know, I, I'm trying to guide these people on the right path and, uh, and help them achieve their, their, their goals and dreams and, and really beyond, beyond anything else, just, just see, how they, see how good they can be. You know, it's as simple as that. In a, in a lot of ways, that's the biggest challenge that you can put in front of yourself is, is really and truly seeing how good you can be and being okay with, 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 the, uh, with the outcome. Coming into NAZ Elite, I knew the marathon was for me. I'm, I'm a guy who always likes longer workouts. Um, cross country was, was my gig. Um, you know, the track I, I've struggled on, you know, quite frankly. And um, I knew something long, steady that I can chip away at. I'm really good at talking to myself when things get hard and I'm, I'm out there for a long time. It does take uh, a certain set of skills to be really good at that event. I think I saw very early on that Nick had those skills. With, with Rory, it was a different situation because the pressure of the Olympics in our sport is, is great. And he joined us in the summer of, of 2019 with the Olympics seemingly looming in the summer of 2020. And he wanted to give himself as many opportunities to make the Canadian Olympic team as possible. And so the first opportunity was the fall of 19, the first fall he was here um, in, the, in, the, in the marathon. I did a marathon shortly after joining Northern Arizona Elite in uh, 2019. It wasn't a bad debut by any means, but I, I learned the hard way on how difficult a marathon can be. You, you can experience so many intense feelings and emotions and physical pain all over such a long period of time still. I still believe like in my heart that I, I am a marathoner and that that event will suit me. I just think it's it's going to take me learning a lot about myself and the event and just trial and error and keep swinging. CIM kind of unfolded in a, I don't know, kind of a strange way for me. Uh, CIM was definitely more of a uh, last resort. Uh, we had originally planned for Nick to run Chicago uh, in, in this fall, fall of, of 21. And we had originally planned, of course, for Rory to run Boston. What happened, two, two very different things. So Nick got a little dinged up uh, early in his segment and we just said, look, it's not possible to be as ready at Chicago as you're going to need to be to run the debut that uh, you deserve. The original intent was to run Chicago for my debut. Um, I ran into a little foot injury in July though, kind of postponed training for uh, just like two weeks or so. And we decided that we want to just have a nice long build instead of try to rush to Chicago. and. We kind of landed on early December as, you know, with a couple options and at the end of the day we thought CIM would be a great debut because of how the course runs and um, just a nice smooth long build for me. Rory's story is very different because it's unconventional. He ran Boston and did not have the day uh, that he wanted. 
as soon as I finished that race, I thought to myself, that can't be it. I need to do something else. I need to get it back out there. I need to write this ship. And CIM felt logical for me because Nick was doing it. And because we're teammates, we're friends, and we, we work well together. And, and I thought that it was gonna be a safe setup for me to, to go out there and try to get the marathon right. You get one debut um, in any event. And I just want to, I want to just go execute really well first and foremost. Um, that's just staying as, as patient and smooth and comfortable as long as I can. Um, weather the few miles that are inevitably going to feel weird, uh, feel kind of bad for no reason. And, you know, just have my legs and, and head, you know, within me um, when it comes to 10K to go. I know I'll be proud of the day if I've left everything out there and can say like I did everything I was physically and emotionally and mentally capable of doing on the day. I know what I'm capable of. I know I'm good at this. I know I've done good work and I just want the performance to meet that preparation. I need to have faith, I need to have confidence and I need to execute. And if I do those things, I know that the result will be something to be very proud of. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, a result I can be really proud of and a race plan and execution and performance that just says, yeah, that's, that's the right trend. You know, uh, if, if I'm looking at my trends, my stock as a marathoner, I'm looking to see a spike in my, in my trend. And uh, I think this is a great opportunity to do that.